What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is going to make a Modern House, the 78th installment of Modern House. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of a, I'm going to put a timestamp at the top of the screen right now. Uh, go for it for information on, uh, interior stuff. I'm not going to be showing how to make the interior, but I, it is something that is important for you that do have specifications with your interior. So there's the inside space, speaking of which. But that being said, uh, go to the timestamp first if you need that, and enjoy the tutorial. Alright, so these big mirrors are say 22 by 17, and the materials you will, you will be needing are gray concrete, wherever it is, I'll find it, black stained glass blocks, acacia doors, by the way, you need a lot of black glass and a lot of gray concrete, black stained glass panes, Light gray concrete. Pillar quartz block. Trip wire hook. Oak wood planks. And smooth quartz slabs. That's actually all you need. Uh, not purple. You need smooth quartz. I have never used purple for a tutorial. But I guess because I don't really know what I would want a um, pink block for. There, there's, there will be some, I will eventually use it. It, it will probably be used at some point. <clears throat> Just for nothing like this. Alright, starting from the front left hand corner of your 22 by 17 grid cough cough. I made it, you want to count. Right by one and backwards by one. And going right, you want to place five black stained glass blocks. Two acacia doors. And five black stained glass blocks. You want to bring the black glass up with three rows of black glass and bring the doors up with two black glass each. We're going to ignore these for now. You'll see why I'm doing it that way. It just it makes it a little bit easier. Because you might not like the look of those. Because it's not the best thing. So we're going to build them without those little, the only those four. We're going to still add the ones on the side because they're needed. But those are just add extra supports. You don't need those. Um, I'm going to add them though and we can, you can decide if you like them or not. Going backwards on the left side, you want to play, you want to bring the black glass backwards with 14 rows of black glass. Just like that. That's actually longer there than it is there. That's 12 and that's 15. So you do want to bring this back row of black glass here at the back left hand corner. You want to bring it right with 11 rows. I'm surprised I'm remember memorized or remembering these numbers so well. That's sad that I'm surprised about that. But you know. Because I can't count very well. And someone has even said that in my comments. It, it's funny the things I get. <clears throat> Like, I know I can't count. <laughs> Bold of you to assume I'm good at math. <laughs> uh, Alright, so you can either do it, go to the back or the front. It really does not matter. However, you need to be at the right side. So the side where there's pretty much air right now. And you want to bring the black glass forward diagonally to the right by one. If you're on the back, it'll be backward diagonally to the right by one. You don't want to bring that gray concrete up by four. And you can actually do that on the front and the back, because why not? So it'd be backward diagonally to the right by one at the back, and forward diagonally to the right by one at the front, and then up by four. You then want to bring both of these gray concretes left by 13. And then connect it front and back. See, my numbers are actually doing good. At least that far row you need to connect front and back. Now, you want to bring the left row and the back row up with five additional rows of gray concrete. Let me make sure that's correct. Yeah, see, I can count sometimes. It's probably just a fluke. <laughs> Uh, not like that. Just like that. 
Now you want to bring the top six blocks at the right side or right with an additional row. And then at the front here, you want to bring this just this bottom one right by one. Or I get, no, sorry, the top one. So I can count, but I don't know my directions. Good to know. Just like that. Okay, then what you want to do is, uh, I'm not going to give you a number. Actually, you could probably, you know, and I can give you a number. You either, you can bring this front left-hand top corner of gray concrete. You can bring that right by 14, or you can bring that back block forward by, I think it's 15. Let me check that. And then connect it to its opposite side. No, it's 16. So you either bring the back right hand corner forward six and the front left hand corner right by whatever number I said, which was I believe fourteen. Which is correct. And then fill in the middle of this in with gray concrete. Uh, I don't know why we're actually starting with this, because now the balcony is gonna be dark, but that's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. Oh, don't break that block. Um Yeah, I don't know why I did it that way. I thought it was probably stupid, but it's okay. Uh, if you don't, can't see on the video, you can turn up your phone brightness if you're on phone. Or computer brightness. Because that's always a trick. If, um, like if you can't see something, like for example, if I'm in a cave in a survival series. Which, that might be a hint for a future video. Might, depending on how I edit it. I'm only like halfway through editing. Actually, not even halfway through editing. Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but it's just tedious. Like, let's say that. If you can't see what I'm doing, you can turn your phone brightness all the way up, and you should be able to slightly see. It makes it more, like, pixelated, but you can see it. Like, okay, it's actually not that bad here. But then what you want to do is you want to connect the far right bottom gray concrete at the front and the back here as well. Just like that. So you have... You could call it a modern coffee table. You definitely could call it that. Alright, what you want to do now is at the front here of this <clears throat> bottom of a gray concrete, you want to place our black stained glass panes. Bring it back on the right by three. And then you want to place a gray concrete behind that. <clears throat> Bring that concrete up to the ceiling. Just like that. Now, along the floor here, you want to bring this gray concrete, the bottom block of it, so where it kind of intersects, the intersection, you want to bring left with oak wood blanks. Just like that. You want to fill in everything in front of this in with oak wood planks. Just like that. Ah, my mic like a little bit weird sometimes well more than sometimes I'm assuming it does it every video but I don't know <clears throat> I really need to watch over more of my edited videos <laughs> yeah I don't watch over all of them I watch over the L let's build little nightmares 2 the secret neighbor and I guess most I'd say most um, collab videos, and also, uh, like, top ten lists and stuff, usually, if I remember to. Alright, starting at the, um, left side here, behind the oakwood planks, the first row of gray concrete that is, that does not have a row of oakwood planks occupying the bottom block, the second block up, you want to bring right with five light gray concrete, then place three oakwood planks along the floor, and then five light gray concrete after that. So you should be just bridging from side to side. Just like that. You want to bring those three oak wood blanks backward an additional row. And going left to right or right to left on top of those back ones does not matter. You want to place a black stained glass block. Acacia door. And a black stained glass block. You then want to bring either black glass... Uh, you're going to bring the black glass on either side up by two and then connect together in the middle on top of the door. I would make this back row of oak wood planks your floor material. If you want it to be oak wood planks, then fine. Also, uh, I'll probably put something in the intro about this. This might be a problem for some of you. Um, there are two things you could do. 
One, you can get rid of the top layer of glass and add an additional or gray concrete. You can push this entire thing up. Or this is the least convenient one, but you could place a little section of stairs right here and then have the door um, elevated a block along with the windows and then elevate the ceiling a block. Um, now, again, it's probably too late, so I'll probably put a timestamp or something for that stuff. But um, that one's least convenient because you're still going to have this section of oak at the front to deal with. So, it's up to you what you want to do with that. But, with that being said, going left to right or right to left, um, at the top of this, does not matter. You want to place a light gray concrete, three black stained glass panes, light gray concrete, then skip over the door area, light gray concrete, three black stained glass panes, and a light gray concrete. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place a real light gray concrete on top of that that bridges the gap above the door. Just like that. You honestly could, what you could do is you could literally just wall off the bottom with gray concrete and this top with a light gray concrete, which I'm going to show you how to do in a moment here. And then you don't even need to worry about the garage if you don't want it. This is perfectly fine. It's fine as a house. The garage section, however, does add more space and it does make the house look a little bit more unique. Because right now it's sort of just gray, black, a little bit of brown with the oak, and then light gray. It's just, it's literally just two shades of gray. And the garage will add a little bit of white in there, which is, um, good because it adds a contrast from the darker colors. The oak and the, um, smooth quartz really are what add contrast. But what you want to do now is that the right side, you want to bring the top and the bottom row of light gray concrete all the way to the back of your build. Just like that. And then in the middle here, going front to back, you want to place three black stained glass panes, three light gray concrete, three black stained glass panes, and a light gray concrete. And then you want to copy that row one more time. Just like that. Again, you could totally leave it as is. You could just wall this off, and if you wanted to, you can make this your build. However, that would be a small house. That would be good for a survival house, however, if you wanted to build a modern house in survival. That's not, because that's not a huge house. That's not a lot of concrete. It's a lot of natural light and stuff, which I think is good. But for the garage now, you want to place from this front row of gray concrete here, you want to place a light gray concrete backward diagonally to the right by one. You then want to place a pillar course block, a sideways pillar course block backward diagonally to the right from that. Bring it right by four. And then you want to copy that entire row two more times with the light gray concrete included. Just like that. At the bottom center of your pillar course block section, which is your garage, you want to place a trip wire hook. Then, from the garage, you want to place a row of light gray concrete forward diagonally to the right by one. Bring it back by 14. And left by 6. And you do want to do that with the entire wall. Again, there's, there's my good counting, my brilliant counting. <laughs> I can type even better than I can count. <laughs> you then want to place an additional row of light gray concrete on top of that that wants to basically... It wants to just be a, a C, a big old C, which... Is it a backwards C? Yeah, it is a backwards C from the front. From the back, it's normal, but from the front, it's um, side or it's reversed. Also, don't forget this block because it's still important. You basically just want to go over the pillar quartz like, um, like a straight line. So the entire garage is indented, not just the sides of it. Because that would be a little bit weird, I think. I think. I don't even know. Alright. What you want to do now is you want to place a row of smooth quartz slabs that goes outward diagonally on all sides of the top row of light gray concrete. And it will connect to the gray concrete. Just like that. And then you want to fill in the center of this in with smooth quartz slabs. And that's your garage. 
once you do this. You could add a balcony or something on this. You could actually extend this balcony further because, as you can see, this is already this gray concrete is already taking up one smooth course blocks or slab, so you could just take this all the way to the edge. However, then again, that would eliminate the um the color dif differentiation from the smooth quartz slabs, if that's even a word. I don't even know if that's a word. Different. I think it's a word, but I don't think it's like pronounced the way that I pronounced it. Because that feels too long. But I don't know. I'm not good at the English either, apparently. Alright, so you can leave it as this. If you like your build, then leave it. However, if you want to add the little gray concrete supports, you want to place a row of gray concrete in front of the front, the front left-hand corner of black stained glass blocks. Behind the back left-hand corner. And then along the left side, you want to leave a four block gap with a bl only in counting the black glass. If you count the gray concrete, then it's five. So you can see one would be gray concrete, unless you don't want to count that. But one would be first black glass, two black glass, three black glass, four black glass. On the fifth black glass, you want to place gray concrete moving up. And then next section, one, two, three, four, five, sixth black stained glass block you want to leave up. So you should have... Um, if you include the gray concrete, you should have three identical sections split with the two rows of gray concrete. So it's five including that gray concrete, five with just the glass, five including that end gray concrete. If you like this, then good for you. If you don't, then don't add it, obviously. Uh, this side is the side that it looks worst from, in my personal opinion. It, it's grown on me since I literally built that 20 minutes ago. But... <laughs> Once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the seven. That is your. That is the your modern house. The seventy eighth installment complete. I forgot how my old own outro went for a second there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. Peace.